Hi everyone, welcome back to Science. I'm Miss Catherine and today is a very exciting day um, because today is our last lesson in our Matter and Energy and Ecosystems Unit. And today in lesson 3.4, we are going to explain to the Econauts what happened in their biodome experiment to cause it to not be successful and what changes they should make um, for their next biodome. Um, so for today, um, you will need the typical materials. And if you uh, have access to all of your previous models, explanations, and key concepts that we've recorded on all of our sheets of paper from all of our lessons in the unit, it would be really helpful for you to have that out in front of you. Um, as the explanation that we make for our Econauts today is going to combine all of these things that we've been figuring out uh, throughout the entire unit. And as you're gathering all of those materials, if you're following along online, here is your click path. And for one last time today, here is how I would like you to set up your heading on your sheet of paper. So pause the video, gather all of the things that you need for today um, so that you are set up and ready to go. If we are going to explain um, to the Econauts today what exactly happened in their biodome, we're going to need to think about um, the cause and effect link between an action or event um, and the outcome or the effect. Okay, so we're going to warm up our thinking around cause and effect relationships here today uh, by considering a scenario that we're hopefully not too familiar with, um, this idea of a classmate being late to first period. Okay, so we're, we're gonna have this um, scenario right here that we consider here first today. Quincy was late to his first period class, but what caused him to be late, okay? Um, and so when we're asked to consider a cause, remember that a cause is why something happened. Um, and an effect is what happened. So here we know what happened. We know the effect. Quincy was late to his first period class. Um, but we wanna think about why that happened, um, the cause of that effect, okay? Um, so we're gonna pause the video. And if you have access to Amplify Online, we're gonna complete the cause and effect example sorting tool activity around this um, scenario, okay? And to do that, we're gonna show the series of causes and effects that made Quincy late to first period. So what happened to then cause something else to then cause Quincy to be late to first period? And we're gonna do that by ordering cards um, that show the reason why he might have been late to first period. If you don't have access to Amplify Online, you could pause the video right now and try to write out a sequence of events that would cause someone to be late to first period class in the morning. Um, or you can just follow along with me, see what the options are in my sorting tool, then pause your video and write down your cause and effect change. Um, so we are in lesson 3.4 and we're in activity one right now. And when you click on activity one, you will see here the link to the cause and effect example here about Quincy. Um, so again, the, the effect, we know what happened. Well, he was late to first period, but what were all of the steps that happened before that uh, to cause this outcome? So something occurred to cause something else to occur, to cause something else to occur that ultimately had this effect of Quincy being late to first period. Uh, so down below here, I have um, some options. Um, Quincy overslept, Quincy stayed up late, Quincy missed the bus. Uh, so pause the video and either on your paper or in your sorting tool, put these events in order. Uh, that would logically explain why Quincy was late to first period. How'd you do? Um, so when I look at this, well, if I'm gonna start here, well, he was late, um, well, he missed the bus, okay? And he was late because he missed the bus. He missed the bus because he overslept. So he was late because he missed the bus, because he overslept, and he overslept because he stayed up late. 
when we are today explaining to the Econauts um, what happened, this cause and effect analysis is going to be very important uh, for us because we have to make it very clear to them why one thing led to another. Um, so our uh, Quincy example here being late to first period is one everyday example of a cause and effect chain. Um, and right here I have another cause and effect chain for us to consider uh, and practice here, this link between an event and an outcome as we're going to need to do this in our um, explanation to the Econauts today. Um, so let's consider this effect of a plant dying. And let's consider the cause of that effect as we put the plant in the closet, okay? We need to really clearly link why this cause leads to this effect. Um, even if you feel like it's very obvious why this cause leads to this effect, um, we wouldn't be very good scientists and we wouldn't be very good at explaining our scientific reasoning to others if we didn't make that link um, very, very clear. So I want you to think for a moment, why would putting a plant in a closet cause that plant to die? And what are all of the very specific steps along the way that link this cause to this effect? So when I'm considering this cause and this effect, um, and why putting a plant in the closet would um, cause my plant to die? Well, I'm thinking that plants use light energy uh, to make energy storage molecules. Okay, so if I put the plant in the closet, it's not getting light. And so it can't use that light to make energy storage molecules. And if the plant isn't making the energy storage molecules, that's problematic because plants use energy storage molecules to release the energy that they need to live. And so without those energy storage molecules, the plants will die. Um, so I hope that you're noticing here um, to really thoroughly explain the link between this cause and this effect of putting the plant in the closet and the plant dying, we need to be really detailed in the sequence of events that um, follow here in this chain. I put the plant in the closet, so the plant doesn't get light. The plant needs the light to make energy storage molecules. Without energy storage molecules, the plant does not have the energy it needs to live. The plant does not have the energy it needs to live, therefore it will die. 